Hi, I'm Ben Sass, candidate for U.S. Senate in Nebraska. I'm just recording this video out on the campaign trail where we had a town hall last night in Imperial, Nebraska, a cattle town near the Colorado border. Just like my fellow citizens last night, I'm frightened by what occurred in Washington, D.C. yesterday. President Obama offered a supposed fix to Obamacare that would direct the Secretary of HHS to let Americans keep their insurance policy. The president did not actually fix anything, but he did provoke a constitutional crisis. Understand, President Obama cannot legally do what he proposed to do yesterday, and the media let him get away with claiming. He can't fix part of a law that he doesn't like by fiat. Our president is not a king. He doesn't get to make decrees. He doesn't even have a line item veto under our current system of government. The only branch of government under our Constitution that has any power to change this law is the Congress. This debate is no longer only about health care, but has become much larger. It has morphed into a battle over transforming our constitutional system of separate, co-equal branches of government. This is about whether or not the Congress will cede its constitutional power to a runaway executive branch in a way that our founders never intended and would not understand. Don't take my word for it, though. Even Howard Dean, the former governor of Vermont, yesterday questioned whether the president even has the legal authority to do what he said he's going to do. He's right. President Obama does not have the unilateral authority to change parts of a law that he finds inconvenient now for political purposes. The fact that Obama rammed this bill through in the worst way possible in 2009 does not now give him the imperial power to go back and change parts of it that he doesn't like. If he had this kind of power, what's to stop him from, say, mandating what kind of cream we must take in our coffee, or mandating or expanding the individual mandate to require us to join certain kinds of gyms? What the president has done here is outrageous, it is illegal, and it is unconstitutional. If Republicans in Washington are serious about upholding their oaths of office, they must demand that Obamacare be repealed and that we start over. Republicans should absolutely refuse to be any part of an unconstitutional attempt by President Obama to prop up this bad law. If you agree, I hope that you'll email this video to family and friends, share it on Facebook and Twitter, and go to our website, sasfornebraska.com, for more information. This is an important moment, and it goes well beyond Obamacare. It is about our constitutional system of government itself. I'm Ben Sass, and I approved this message.